Hello again and welcome to the Friday Wrap for Friday the 13th. We always love that. That happens each year. Uh, today I am filming uh, from the SCORE uh, Sports Center uh, for a very important reason regarding St. Jude's Hospital, which we, I will explain more about in a minute. Pardon my casual attire, but I'm literally just coming back from a, a conference. I drove uh, all the way back, just came back uh, you know, 20 minutes ago uh, from Omaha uh, for a conference with the Knights of Columbus, which I'm sure you've, you've heard about. They have a big sales conference in their life insurance division, and they are my biggest clients. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the pictures for that too. Uh, around the village, uh, the Burridge Police Department is partnering again with uh, the organization called COPS, uh, that's Citizens, uh, no, sorry, Concerns of uh, Police Survivors. Uh, they are having a, a special uh, dinner uh, for, of cyclists coming through town on July 21st. And because of the strong support that the Burridge Police Department has, has given to the COPS organization, uh, they're actually going to host a, a their, their national conference of over 600 law enforcement personnel uh, coming here in, in, in this area in November. So that, that's phenomenal. And, and also thank you to Sergeant Barnes. He's the one that's really, really spearheading that as well as, of course, Chief John Madden. Uh, this week, I'd like to also announce that, that we have a resignation of someone very important on the plan commission, uh, Ms. Dane Grunston. Uh, she was on the, on the, the uh, commission since uh, January, or since uh, I'm not sure what, which month, but in 2010. That's over eight years of serving the village. Uh, of course, two meetings a month, plus all the other, other uh, uh, projects going on in the village. Uh, she has made a, a huge impact on the village with all the projects going on since then. Uh, Dane, we, we're going to miss you. We appreciate uh, all of your service to the village and I can certainly understand that when, when a new position comes along and as well as family requirements, you're unable to continue in the future. But we do look forward to having your help uh, in the future with the events committee. Uh, also, tonight's uh, concert in the green is Mason Rivers. It's a high energy country band. Uh, that of course starts at seven o'clock and it's going to be a warm one. Hope you hope you enjoy that as well. Uh, in upcoming meetings, this week we have a planned commission meeting on Monday. Uh, July 16th at, uh, of course, 7 p.m. Uh, Economic Development Committee uh, is meeting on Tuesday uh, where we're going to have also a great presentation uh, from the publisher of Hinsdale Magazine regarding possible marketing for the village uh, in the future. So stay tuned with that. We'll give you, we'll update you on that later. And also, I'm going to have a very important meeting on Friday. Uh, the Commonwealth Edison is going to give us a summary of the progress they made, the reports they made uh, to, the village, to the village and the business owners because of the recent uh, I, I, you know, blackouts and electrical problems that we've had recently in the village, uh, we'll also be updating you on that. Uh, so, as I was uh, mentioning, I am uh, filming uh, today from the, the uh, SCORE Sports Center in Willow Springs. Uh, why? Because it's owned by Burridge resident uh, Carla and Pierre Joaquin. Uh, they are having a very important uh, event coming up uh, on July 22nd. Carla, uh, could you come over here and... Uh, Hi, Carla. Thank you. Nice, nice to see you again. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming out. Today. And can you tell us a little bit about the event? Absolutely. This year is going to be our second annual Dodge for Life charity dodgeball tournament for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. As you know, their mission is No Child is Left Behind. We are hoping to raise $20,000 for this cause. We have teams already put together, and we would love to have any and all of you come out and join us and put a team together. The team consists of six players and it is a ton of fun for a fabulous cause. It's called Dodge for Life? Dodge for Life. Our very own uh, Allison Rosati from Channel 5 is kind enough to emcee the event for us. We're going to have a patient speaker who will talk about their journey through their cancer treatment at St. Jude. We'll also have a wonderful young man come and sing the national anthem for us to start the tournament. We're going to have a live artist creating a beautiful masterpiece that we'll be auctioning off, and we will have auction baskets as well, including a basketball signed by all of the 2017-2018 Chicago Bulls. We're going to have a jersey from uh, Patrick Sharp. We'll have tons of other fun and unique items as well. So kind of Christmas in July, you can come and start some of your holiday shopping early. Well, that sounds like a really neat event. Now, this is not your first year for this, is it? It is not. This is our second year, and we're hoping it's going to be bigger and better than last year. And just a, a, a quick update as to St. Jude's Hospital. Uh, can you tell us the village uh, a little bit more about the hospital itself? Sure. It was founded by a gentleman by the name of Danny Thomas, and his co-founder was a man by the name of Mr. Shaker, whose, whose sons both attend the local church that my family goes to, and that's how we initially got involved. And they will take on cases that nobody else will take on. If patients don't have the ability to pay for their services, 
the patients never receive a bill. If they have insurance, it gets billed to the insurance. If they don't, they will treat them until the end, despite having any ability to pay for their services. Well, and, and Danny Thomas, of course, I grew up knowing that name. Uh, you're probably a little too young to remember the name. Uh, but I'm trying to remember, was, was he a comedian or actor or both? Yeah, a little bit of both. And his goal was to make a mark in the world that everybody would remember. And mm. St. Jude has now helped the success of treating many childhood cancers wow. go from the 10 to 20 percent up to 80 to 90 percent for many of them. So we would love to have all of our Burridge residents and neighbors come out on Sunday, July 22nd. Registration is between 10, 15, and 11, and plan for a day of fun. Well, great. Well, thank you very much, Carla, and to your husband, Pierre, and everybody here at, uh, at the SCORE Sports Center, including Carrie Jess, who's actually behind the microphone here. Some of you may, may know her but as well. But thank you again. It's a very noble cause. Hope you can all join us. Thanks again for joining me. That's a wrap.